I started Aikido at the age of 11 uh, under my uncle who was teaching in Malaysia and he, he's 86 now and he still runs his dojo in Malaysia. Uh, at around the age of 19 I moved to Australia to study university and I started training Aikido there but didn't like the style of Aikido that was being taught. So I started a small dojo and I wasn't very good. So I went back to Japan and I kept going backwards and forwards to Japan to improve. And, uh, and gradually the dojo has grown and uh, yeah, hopefully I'm improving too. The year I started, a few months before that, um, there were some Japanese teachers and a man named Don Drager Sensei, who is a, a very big name in martial arts. Um, he brought down his teachers to do some uh, demonstrations in Malaysia. And I saw them teaching and I saw them doing demonstrations and I thought, wow, uh, I want to be like those men. So that, I think that was what inspired me to start. He taught me. Uh, every year he would come down to my uncle's dojo and stay there and use it as a base for his research in books. Um, so every year when he came and stayed in my uncle's dojo, he would teach me. So I can't say uh, he was my master, but I did learn a lot from him. And I also was around a lot when he was talking to people and I learned a lot from his conversations as well as learning technical stuff of him as well. I, I could have I think in Malaysia and all over the world uh, was never really popular back then. Um, it, there were other martial arts that were more popular, karate, taekwondo, uh, kung fu, and always depended on what movies were out at that time. So when I was growing up, there were a lot of Bruce Lee movies and kung fu was very, very popular. Um, Aikido, because there's no competition in Aikido, it's very hard to popularize it. And um, so my uncle just did it for the love of it. He loved Aikido. He studied Judo as well and Karate, but he ended up just concentrating on Aikido. And he really loved Aikido. And I think his, uh, his passion and his caught on with me. And um, the, the popularity of Aikido grew with Steven Seagal movies. And even now it is still quite small compared to uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu or mixed martial arts but I think for as long as people like it, it will survive. First time I went to Japan was in 1983. Uh, I was 22 and I stayed uh, two or three months in the Yoshinkan and uh, back then uh, Shida Sensei was living in the dojo. Uh, there were other who, big senseis now who are living in the dojo. So it was a really good time and I had a great time. Uh, Kancho Sensei, I, you know, we went out drinking and he, every time he got drunk, he would speak to me in Indonesian. And uh, he, he was a very, very charismatic man, amazing man. Yeah. It was a really good time to be in the Yoshinkan. And it's a time of my life I will always remember. It was probably about the best time of my life that, that time there, living in the dojo. Yeah. I think to try to enjoy yourself. Yeah. Uh, if, you, if you don't enjoy your training, 
then you won't go back. And if you don't go back, you'll never get good. So the most important thing for me is to enjoy your training. And, and if, if you can get good at Aikido, you can spend 20 years or 30 years and you become really good, but you didn't enjoy it, what's the point? So I, I've been doing Aikido for 40 years. And if I didn't enjoy training and teaching, I wouldn't do it. I'm very lazy. I need to enjoy what I do. Flop. One, two, three, four. Pass. One, two, three, four. Block. One, two, three, four. Pass. One, two, three, four. Block. One, two, three, four. Then just rain. If you ask me that when I was 20 years old, I would say to be able to uh, defend yourself, to be able to control anybody, uh, to be able to be a hard person. And I think now that I'm 50, uh, I think the most important thing for me is to enjoy myself and to be a good person and to help others uh, realize their full potential like how Inoue Sensei does. I think a job of a, a student is to enjoy and to learn on the mat. The job of a teacher is to help people come up. There, there's many things that's said about Aikido, and I think uh, the two, my two favorite is one that Shoda Gozo Kancho said, and he said, Aiki Soku Seikatsu, which is, uh, so is life, so is Aiki, so is life. It's like Aikido and life are one and the same. And he also used to say that Aikido is like walking. It, it should be natural. It should be you. We all walk differently. We all have different lives. And so should our Aikido be like that. The other one was from uh, Tomiki Kenji Sensei. He said, uh, live in harmony with everyone, but don't allow anyone to disturb your harmony. So I think this is very important. Often we think about peace and um, being harmonious with people and we let people walk all over us. I think uh, to be harmonious and peaceful is good, but you also have to stand up for your own rights sometimes.